towards the near side part of the course, come up into line and will complete the field here. We are set to go in the Dubai Sprint, presented by Lincoln Navigator Racing. Ladies Church fast away, Al Shibley, topper Bill caught it well, pressing forward with Wallbank, urgent appeal, Yonifus has a back despite being in a forward spot, Ventura Rebel next, Ladies Church now back to 7th or 8th as they make their way down the centre in an orderly file, Batwan also gets cover, Tan Mawi, then came Magic, uh, Mischief Magic, followed there by, by Boom Shalar, Norbano, Damar, Ventura Rebel over to the near side, is obliged to race without cover. So 600 metres left to go and onto the course proper they travel. Topper Bill leads a half. Urgent Rebel, urgent appeal there uh, in about second. Al Shibley, Ventura Rebel, Wallbank. Yonifer starting to get warm down the near side and Mischief Magic looking to weave a passage through on the far side. Topper Bill, Mischief Magic comes off heels now. Ventura Rebel, Yonifus the near side still presenting. It's Yonifus, Mischief Magic though finding here on the far side late. Batuan when it's all too late. Mischief Magic, Yonifus, Mischief Magic. There's two for Godolphin. Mischief Magic, three parts. Yonifus, another wonderful second placing and another eye-catching run. Batuan next. Ventura Rebel, Damar was running on late. Topper Bill. Ventura Rebel there was uh, at the back of the field there, uh, working alongside uh, Thunder of Niagara. Ladies Church, Norbano. Wallbank dropped away with Tan Mawi Al Shibli. Back to Boom Shalar and Urgent Appeal was the last one to cross over. He just needed a bit of room there in the late stages, did Mischief Magic, and once he found it, he was able to pick up very well. Yonifus has ended up running a strong second there in the event. That's why was able to make good ground as well. He's certainly showing that uh, his straight racing days or winning days are not over and done with. And Thunder of Niagara will take fourth only just off a fast finishing Demar. Numbers across the line, five, 12, two and seven. And it is Mischief Magic who is too strong here off a rating of 109, appreciating the increase to 1200 meters this evening. Spot on from Pat Comerford, yes, the increase in trip for Mischief Magic certainly playing into his hands. William Buick just had to negotiate a passage uh, going past Topper Bill. And in the closing stages, once he got clean sailing, clear sailing, he has bounded clear his rivals. Yanafis was coming back at him a little bit at the end, but he's got a sharp turn of foot off a strongly run six furlongs, Mischief Magic, and that was good enough to get him back to winning ways. Good run once again from Yadafis back in second place. He's run two good races now. Batwan the Grey, he has run another terrific race here at Maidan to fill third spot. He was traveling quite nicely in behind horses, perhaps doesn't quite have his incredible kick of maybe two or three seasons ago, but it's still good enough to see him extremely competitive here. I thought Deman ran on quite nicely on the outside alongside the likes of Thunder of Niagara and Ventura Rebel. But Mischief Magic, a former Breeders' Cup juvenile turf sprint winner, is back. He's in really good form. It's a good run behind Pontos first time up, and he stepped forward significantly for that, and he has beaten the admirable Yanafis, who, of course, was the best turned out for Aham Singh, courtesy of Zabil Fee. But Mischief Magic, has produced a smart performance here, a double for Charlie Appleby, for Godolphin, and for rider William Buick. Numbers in the Dubai Sprint presented by Lincoln Navigator 5, 12, 2, and 7. Mischief Magic. It's the win here, 108.96 margins. Three quarters by two and a half, five, 12, two and seven. The numbers here in race five. Well done, William.
Time to welcome back the winner of the Dubai Sprint, presented by Lincoln Navigator. He's a four-year-old Bay Gelding by Exceeding Excel at a Veil of Silence, trained by Charlie Appleby, owned by Godolphin, and ridden by William Buick. Put your hands together for Mischief Magic. It's a very, very familiar situation for William Buick. Weighing in, hold it. Don't want you to crash into the dear old mischief magic. <laughs> William, talk, talk to me about the way this horse quickened up, because I was wondering about the little gap that you had to take. I thought he responded perfectly for you. Yeah, he did. I knew I had plenty of horse, and I knew the gap would, would eventually be there for him at that stage of the race. And um, you know, when you look through his his form as a two-year-old, that's that's how he was always ridden. And you know, don't forget, he's a he's a British Cup juvenile turf sprint winner. So the quality is there, and uh, he had a good run here over five furlongs uh, a month or so ago. And um, stepping up back up to six furlongs has really suited him. So uh, no, they're delighted we got one on the board with him. Looking at the way his three-year-old campaign went, yes, he won at Kempton, but. Arguably, we were expecting a lot more. Is this the two-year-old, or is this the horse that we remembered as a two-year-old now? Yeah, let's let's hope he's on the way to 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 reaching those heights again. I mean, he, he you know we all know he had top can be for a three-year-old sprinter. So hopefully he's he's strengthened up that bit that he needed to do, and um, he's more of a finished article. Well done on the double so far. Thank you.